Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you another great recipe from the Tatar cuisine and this dish is called Kostabuy. Kostabuy is a traditional Tatar dish that consists of potato filling wrapped in flatbread that in a way looks like a potato taco in a soft shell. For this dish we will need a few ingredients. For the dough part we will need the flour, one egg, some sugar, salt, butter, and warm milk. For the filling part, we will need potatoes. In addition to the potatoes, we will need fried onions, some milk, and butter. Let's start. We're going to start by cooking our potatoes first, at least by throwing them to be cooked while we're working on the dough already peeled my potatoes and look how huge they are and i'll just show you how you can cut it up so that it fits in your pot i'm just going to cut this large potato into about three pieces and each piece can be cut in half make it easier to cook faster our water is ready and i'm just going to throw in potatoes inside well be careful <laughs> so that you don't get burned our potatoes are in the pot and make sure to boil it for 30 to 40 minutes it depends on how fast your potatoes cook i will show you how to check that because you need to make sure that it's all cooked through so now let's move in here now let's get busy with our onion because we'll need to chop it up and fry and there is a little trick that you can use for the onion chopping. Make sure that you don't cut this part, the bottom of the onion. Then we're going to make some small cuts here. And then if you want to make it even finer, just cut right in the middle like this. And then this way, this part, the bottom part will hold the onion for you and prevent it slipping from your knife. Now let's fry our onions by pouring some oil into our pan. A little bit of olive oil. And just throw your onions right in the pan. Fry until our onions get translucent and that golden brown color onions are ready and this is what it should look like golden brown color and soft while our potatoes are cooking I'm going to start with my dough part I already poured some flour in a bowl and I'm just going to blend in the rest of our ingredients, which is salt and sugar. Right. I'm going to add the butter a little bit later. I'm going to add the egg. And I'm going to also add warm milk. And let's start mixing everything. going to add the butter. Let's start make our dough. As you can see, it's a little bit sticky. Obviously, I need to add more flour here. And when you do add the flour, don't just dump in a lot of it. Just try to add it gradually. It's very easy. Just try to get to this consistency after you mix everything in the bowl and then transfer it on your counter and then just keep kneading it like this right i mean the way i do it is i just take this corner right uh, the external corner and then fold it towards the internal corner and then keep turning it clockwise our goal is to get rid of all of the flour lumps 
and to make it solid sometimes you may need to use both hands to make the process more effective and faster we are right there and this is how it should be it's uh, pretty elastic it's not sticking to my hands at all let it sit for about half an hour so that it becomes even more elastic and easy to work with our potatoes are ready and this much potatoes I'm going to add about one tablespoon of salt just sprinkle it here I prepared some warm milk and some butter so this is how much butter I'm going to add and my fried onions and let's start mashing it sprinkle the board or the working surface with the flour give it another good knead let's cut this dough into small balls so I prepared my pita balls they will become pita soon and I'm just going to cover these balls with something so that they don't get stale or hard sprinkle some flour and try to make it as round as possible now I'm going to throw this in the pan let's heat up our pan on a slow fire the pan is not supposed to be greased just a dry pan and let it dry and get toasty keep in mind that uh, you have to be kind of fast especially if you're doing this by yourself because as your pitas are getting ready and toasted we will need to put them in the plate butter them a little bit to kind of soften them and cover them while we are preparing the rest of the pitas It's ready. This is the way we want it to be. Now, we need to butter it up a little bit. The thing is, I forgot my greasing thingy, but I'm going to show you a life hack. I'm just going to take this butter and I'm just going to butter it up. Flip it and butter, nice. Now I will need to cover it with a lid so that it gets softer. You may notice that your shell will bubble up like this. You can always just poke around to make sure that there's no air. I have the last shell on the pan and We'll be ready to go shortly. So this was the last one. Let's butter it up. This is not the best way to butter up your shells, but I forgot my 
tool. Let's start making the custom blaze. I'm just going to flip this upside down so that we start making them the softened shells. I'm just going to start putting that back in the pan. Just put the potato on one half of the shell and fold it. Voila! See how soft they are? It's all because we buttered each one of them and let them sit for a little while. If you don't cover your shells and if you don't butter them, they will dry up and you will not be able to fold them. So make sure to first prepare all your shells and then start making your custom leaves. And here they are. This is what we made today. Let's give it a try and see what they taste like. Mmm. This is the flavor of my childhood. I love it. Try it and let me know in the comments below how it came out for you guys. And uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.